I am Avria. I am Latrice Saltzer. Yes, and this is Shop Talk, guys. Shop Talk was created to discuss views and opinions often discussed in a barbershop or a salon setting. We also advertise for businesses, and if you have something juicy going on, hit your girl up and I'm gonna get you on the show. So, let's chop it up, guys. So today we have Miss Latrice Halter on the show. Yes, thank you for coming and allowing me to interview you and pick your brain and get some tips going on here. Um, so, um, again, we have Miss Latrice Halter from Esteem Faces. Um, super dope makeup, art, not just makeup artist, oh, I'm just gonna say an artist in general because the thing she do goes beyond makeup. She's an artist. So, we gonna put her in her respect. Like, okay, um, so let's chop it up and just, you know, um, pick your brain a little bit. So how long have you been or have you known you want to be an artist? Um, I have no real artistic bone in my body. Like I can't draw. Are you I could serious? doodle a little bit. Uh -huh. Maybe like look at a picture and try to doodle, copy it, mm -hmm. but just straight drawing or painting or I don't have oh. that. Okay. Background, never did it, didn't study it. Mm -hmm. I just, I don't know. I just wanted to try it uh -huh. and see where it took me. And mm -hmm. it took me to a place that I didn't even know was in me. So wow. I'm very, very grateful because I am not like a professional artist of any kind. Yes, you are. I mean, you <laughs> really are. You, you are. Um, you are, okay, so basically, you are like a self taught artist, and I then, would say yes. and then went in and started educating yourself more in the field and into the craft. Yes, I would say I, I pride myself on being self taught, right? Right, I really don't have any like I don't know, real education in artistry, yes. So, I started looking at YouTube videos, okay. YouTube University, I am proud to say that I have studied there. <laughs> Right. Yeah, they have given me everything I needed to be successful and to start venturing into more than just makeup. Yes. And I just loved it. I grasped onto it and I started digging more into YouTube and I think I thank God for all the wonderful YouTubers that are there to give you advice and mm -hmm. tell you what to use and tell you what you need. Mm -hmm. And if it wasn't for them, I don't know what I honestly I wouldn't know what I would do. Wow, that's super dope. So Basically, because you do theatrical um, makeup, like you transform. Girl, I try. <laughs> no, you do. Like I watch you make it look like something was out of somebody's head. I try. I swear. I mean, it's I'm a trying. try. Yes, it's literally a try. Wow. I look at something. And say, okay, let me see if I can do that. Wow. And if it turned out good, I'll be like, yay! It turned wow. out good. It's most of the times, it turns out really bad. No. <laughs> I don't post it. No, no. So no, for real, it's I'm like, okay, that was a fail. And then I just try something else the next day. And that's how I got into it. It's like, kind of like I just tripped into it. Wow. I just tripped into doing that type of makeup. That wasn't a plan. Okay, doing the theatrical, like yes. when you, wow. All of that type of stuff, that was not planned. Wow, that's kind of inspiring because like with me, I'm into fashion, you know, I pride myself more into the type of person that put fashions together and help um, people with their image, but I can doodle on the low, mm -hmm. you know, I can sketch. Mm -hmm. So I really think deep down inside, I can probably right, yeah. be, be, more. do more. <laughs> and that's inspiring because yeah. I'm like, maybe I'll start looking at YouTubes and checking out oh, some sewing and stuff. Because that's inspiring for you to tell me. Because I'm thinking you're gonna say, "Okay, I've you know been drawing little th things since I was like seven. Or, ah, no, because no. even to draw eyebrows lines straight, I'll be like, "Wow, they have to be artists, right? No. <laughs> Deep down none somewhere, of that. None like of that. I swear to you, none of that. Wow. Okay, so self-taught. So. I would pride myself in that as well. That's like, you know, as a hairstylist, I pride myself as, um, so I went to hair school, but my mom is a hairstylist, so it's kind of in the blood, you know? So self-taught and then after being self-taught, just educated myself more in it. So it's kind of like the same difference, right? Yes. <laughs> So, um, so within that, where do you see yourself within this field? Um, 
within like five years. Whoa. Or let's um, say two and then five. Two years? Yeah. Honestly, I'm just trying to get back into it. Mm -hmm. So my goal is to get back on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Sorry guys for leaving it. I just needed a break. Okay. <laughs> but get back on Facebook. Um, start doing my videos again. Okay. Start doing more special effects yes and entering into that world a little more so probably for the next two years my goal is honestly to try to get two hundred and fifty thousand followers on instagram okay that's definitely a goal i think that's light work for you years. yeah five years i definitely want to try to um establish a brand or i'm trying to establish my brand but like building wise uh have a i don't necessarily want it to be a shop i just want it to be a space yes um where i can have other artists come mm -hmm. and be expressive mm -hmm. not just makeup wise but any type of painting um body painting graffiti yes. artists just have a space for art because you've done that as well body paint right yes now is that something you tripped into no, <laughs> no, 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 i really do like it just just fall wow. into my lap and then I'm like, okay, and you're let me try. great at it. I'll be trying. And you're great and you're and it's good because again, like as an artist, you'd be like, okay, like when it came to lashes, somebody stood me up like two times to do my lashes and I'm like, I know I can do it. Right. Like you're like, I know I can do it. So Right. So I started doing it on myself and then started doing it for others. So it's kinda like when you know you're like, I have it in me, like I, I am, you know, like you have to know by now you are an artist. You are. Like oh, you have I to, to get, say that. No, I you are. No, you are. Let me tell you. I would like no, to say that I am. No, but, you are. You know, How many followers do you have on Instagram? Um, right now I think it's 18,000, right? Yeah. Not 1,800, <laughs> okay? Um, and I mean, she's so modest. Like, I mean, it's a humble, you know, it's like, it's, that's like, so dope because some people be like, yeah, <laughs> I have oh, an 18. No, no, no they are famous. They got their shades on right now. Red lipstick. <laughs> no, I'm just Latrice, y'all. Yes, and I mean, that's the best way to be because that's me. Like, I'm like, no matter what I mean, whether I have two followers, whether I have 200 million followers, I will always be Avria, yes. you know. Um, so let's go into, um, like, is there anything like within your brand that you want to start? Like, okay, like when you use certain things, like we use different paints, we use eyeliners, lipsticks, or anything, you're like, I don't like the way it lays. Right. Uh, is there anything that you would probably create on your own? Um, honestly, mm -hmm. as of right now, mm -hmm. no. Okay. In the future, mm -hmm. more than likely, I see myself doing I don't know if it's gonna be in makeup or like you said, body, body paint. paint or, right. I don't know where it's gonna branch off in, but as of right now, no. That's not the plan. Okay, okay. But if the opportunity presents itself, so, right. I'm more than likely gonna jump on it. So how about LA with you? Like, have you ever been out to LA? LA you to think LA. about wish I could go there. You will go there. You will. Like, I'm, I'm sick it. I, I'm speaking it, you know, into I'll existence. You know, you, you gotta put it in the atmosphere. We put it in the so atmosphere. we gonna put LA out there, because I really feel as though, you know, that's just, it's all about networking. This is true. And just as soon as someone see you work with, you see your work, it is over. So when I mean over, you're gonna be like, oh, I can't book, <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> It's still trying to be humble about it, but you're really booked and busy, like, to the point like you're being flown out. I see oh, that for oh you. Gosh, thank you so I do. Much. You um, kill pretty, like you are I two artists. Him. Like I follow, I am a I fan of him. his. He is like the like yes. one of the dopest. Wonderful you know, freaking thing. I see that for you. So inspiring. So. Hey, and you're humble, so that spirit is gonna take you everywhere. Hey, you trying to make me cry? No, I'm serious because it's so hard to find, you know, women that's humble, you know, and that I mean, you're so talented. And why you? Because like, you are. 
because I, listen, I can't do makeup, girl. Listen, I take some powder like today. I took some powder. You did what you did. Popped it on my face. Took some whatever I did with my eyebrows, girl. Each time I just pray to God, it makes it okay. So it made it today. But you, I mean, um, your makeup is superb. Um, the businesswoman, how you handle your business, you know, and how you handle yourself throughout social media, you know. I mean, I was like, when I see you in the gym, I'm like, <laughs> When I paid attention, cause I be zoned out. I don't. You need to focus. Yes, you gotta focus. You know. Hey, I follow you. <laughs> so, yes, shout out to Turbo for putting me on. Yes. I appreciate you, man. Right. Um, so, and and you are also. Do you do his Papa trick? Yes, I do his Papa trick makeup. Makeup. Yes. yes. So that's what I mean. So, okay, so, you know, as a hairstylist, I'm just all into, so does you do the lace, you laid the lace frontal beard down? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh. That's this beard. Oh, that's his real beard. Yes. Oh. <laughs> so I just turn it gray it out. Yeah. Okay. Cause I was gonna say, now how was that in star? <laughs> this is, I am funny. No, girl, that's his real beard. Okay, <laughs> so, so you, you do a great job at that. Do you use spray? No, just all makeup. And, how do you make him look old? It's, it's just the contour, just um, darkening Ooh. his natural creases in his face. Ooh. And that's the result. That's all contouring, no clay? Con no. no. <laughs> <laughs> look, <laughs> no clay? No, no clay, no prosthetics as of yet. Hopefully I will be getting more into prosthetics so it can be like a real transformation it, as of right now and that's all makeup wow that's super like, dope no, no extra just his face and makeup see i'm thinking she done put some clay on there <laughs> slap some paint add another layer of clay make some yeah. old man creases <laughs> listen no. you are that's what i mean you have to listen give credit where credit is due you trans listen transformation and that's what we also want to discuss like is there such thing as too much makeup like okay. you i'm gonna say yes and no okay because even though makeup it can be a form of expression yes which i absolutely love seeing these girls beating their face with all the colors of the rainbow the guys. like yes honey you do that but there is you know, certain type of makeups for certain type of jobs. Mm -hmm. So.